In this video, we're going to be finding the perimeter of this composite shape. Remember, perimeter is the distance around the edge of a shape, the sum of the lengths of the sides. In this composite figure, we have straight edges and we also have a curved edge. I want to start by splitting this into two different shapes using a horizontal line. I broke it up into a quarter circle and a rectangle. And I want to begin finding the length of this curved edge. To find the length of the curved edge, we're going to need the formula for the circumference of a circle. But we do not need the length of the entire outside of a circle, the whole circumference. We only need this part, and this part is just a fourth of the circumference. So we divide by four to find a fourth of the circumference. Once we have our formula, we're going to replace d with what the diameter is equal to. To figure out the length of the diameter, we're going to start examining the circle. And we're going to recognize that this is the center of the circle, and the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is called the radius. We know that this length is 6 centimeters because just below it, we are told that this length is 6 centimeters. Since they're both parallel lines, these two line segments are both 6 centimeters. So now that we know that the radius is 6 centimeters, we can figure out the diameter. The diameter is double the radius. So what we can do is we can just multiply the radius by 2 to get the diameter. If you think about it in the picture, if you have a radius plus another radius, that's going to get you all the way across the circle. And the length all the way across the circle is the diameter. So we're going to replace D with 12. Then I'm going to type into my calculator pi times 12, and I get 37.6991184. I'm not going to write that whole number. I'll just leave that saved in my calculator. I won't erase it and I'll just record 37.6. Then I'll take that long number that I read to you, divide by four, and I get 9.42477961. I round to the tenths place. That two makes the four stay a four. And this length, I can go ahead and label it over here. That represents the length of just that curved edge. So I take that length of the curved edge, the quarter circle length, and I'm going to add to that the straight edge lengths. So I'm going to start by adding this six centimeter length at the bottom of the composite shape. Then I'm going to add the five centimeter length here on the right. And then I know that this length over here, since it's across from that five centimeter length, that's also equal to five centimeters. And then the tricky part is this portion right here. So before I add this portion right here, what I want to do is I want to show you an animation. Take a look at the animation. So I showed you that this radius, if you swivel it and move it, I'm showing you that this length is also going to be the same length as the radius because this piece right here is also the radius of the circle because it goes from the center of the circle to the edge. So I can go ahead and label that as well with the six centimeter length. And then I can add the six centimeters down here to get a total of 31.4 centimeters. 31.4 centimeters is the distance around the edge of this composite shape. The 31.4 is the perimeter of this shape. 